You probably don't know who Magnus Carlsen is. He's one of the few world champions that most people have never heard of. Magnus is the current world chess champion, and by many accounts, he's considered to be the greatest chess champion who ever lived, and he's only 30 years old. He's the highest rated chess player ever, and he holds the triple crown, meaning he is the world chess champion across three different time controls. Classical chess, which is the long time control, rapid chess, which is the median time control, and he's also the world champion in blitz or speed chess. I've always found chess to be a very fascinating game and I've played it for most of my life ever since my grandmother taught me when I was a very, very young boy. Did you actually know that there are more possible moves in a game of chess than there are atoms in the entire universe? It's a virtually limitless and infinite game. Now imagine how hard it is when two grandmasters sit down across each other at a chessboard and they try to calculate all these different combinations and positions to try to find the best move. Chess is a tough game, but what makes Magnus Carlsen, or as 60 Minutes referred to him, as the Mozart of chess so great is his ability to think outside of chess principles and conventional ideas. He challenges traditional chess wisdom. When positions are seemingly drawn, he somehow finds a way to win them. And in positions where he looks like he's lost, he somehow finds a way to save them. He plays moves that oftentimes stump commentators and opponents. He thinks outside of the traditional chess box. And he does this because he's able to create a bigger picture plan, and he's able to see things where other people struggle to do so. This approach to unconventional chess thinking is what has allowed Magnus Carlsen to become so great and dominant in the world of chess today. And when we think about the future of work, we need this same mentality. To challenge convention, to go against the grain, to come up with new ideas, to again, think outside of the proverbial chess box. Everything we know about work is changing right before our eyes. But for some reason, a lot of leaders around the world are refusing to see that this change is happening. It's as if somehow the chessboard has been altered, yet we're still trying to play with the same number of pieces and using the same concepts and ideas. We must accept that the game has changed, that the rules have changed. Consider for a minute that if you look up the word employee in the dictionary, you're gonna find that synonyms for the word employee include cog and servant. If you look up the word manager in the dictionary, you're gonna find that synonyms for the word manager include boss and zookeeper. And if you look up the word work in the dictionary, you're gonna find that synonyms for work include daily grind, drudgery, and struggle. Is this the type of world that you want to live and work in? Where we are all cogs working for zookeepers as we go about our daily drudgery? It's time for us to think like chess players, to think like Magnus Carlsen, to go beyond these conventional ideas that we are so used to. We have to challenge our outdated notions of what it means to be an employee, what it means to be a leader inside of an organization, and even what it means to work. Now is the time for us to think beyond what we're used to. The game has changed and we have to change with it. It's your move. Thanks for tuning into this show. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to head over to defineleadership.com to grab a copy of my brand new PDF that's gonna walk you through a framework on how to create your own personal definition of leadership and why that matters now more than ever. You will also see the definitions of leadership from some of the CEOs I interviewed, including from the CEOs of organizations like KPMG, Oracle, and Verizon. Again, you can get that PDF at defineleadership.com. And of course, I would love it if you subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos just like this and for interviews with some of the world's top business leaders. Thank you for watching.